Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Yahweh speaks to us about the role of guardian angels to protect, guide and report, and encourages us to consciously call upon them. I am Yahweh, mother, father, grandfather and what many of you will term, because of your jargon, God. It is the word that you embrace and it is the word that you avoid. I come this day in sacred conversation with each one of your hearts. Questions that emanate from this little one are the same questions, the same thoughts, which emanate from each and every one of your hearts. You are doing just fine and I am pleased to talk to you this day, my child, my children, for what you are truly asking is am I on track, am I on focus, am I in alignment? The answer is yes. But life is fun. Do not think that an alignment in any way means lack of participation. Understand, my friends, you may do many things throughout the universe, but you cannot absent yourself from participation. Create and co create that which your heart desires, but understand you are part of the energy grid, and unless you poof yourself into oblivion and that is not about to happen, you are participating. You cannot not participate. Let me explain. When Linda asks to step aside and be in alignment, that does not mean let me not participate. What she has asked and what each one of you asks is, let me be clear, let me participate as the perfect vessel of love, as the perfect vessel of unfoldment. It is the deepest wish of your heart. It does not mean eliminating yourself, it means being in the fullness and expressing your divinity, and ours, through your sacred being. If at one moment you are doing and you are not thinking, it does not mean that you are not present and participating. It means that you have stepped aside and surrendered to being the energy of one, and that is your participation for that given length of time. This channel has asked of late and feels rather embarrassed to be the best channel in the universe. I am somewhat amused by her reticence to ask and her embarrassment to say it out loud, to declare herself publicly. I mention this because of each one of you feels the same. It is not arrogance to ask to be the best that you are, and the best within me and within the sacred universe. Why would she, or you, say to me, Grandfather, I wish to be mediocre, I wish to be good enough, but not excellent? That is not a reflection of your soul design. It is not a reflection of me. Be your best and allow allow the best to flow through you. Many of you are experiencing ailments, headaches, sinus, depression, you name it. It is indeed, what do you call it? A buffet of maladies. Why? Because you have asked to be the best. You have asked for all integration to take place, all obstacles to be removed, and for your physical body to be fully regenerated. Well, my friends, you have been forewarned many times to be careful what you ask for. Each one of you, in order to fulfill this sacred undertaking, has been given, granted, chosen and selected a guardian angel. You might as well call it a guardian angel, a glidian angel. The purpose of the angels that stand, surround and work with you in service and love is threefold, to protect, to guide and to report. No. It is not like your FBI and your CIA, it is not like some old vicious report. These beings, these sacred ones who have traveled with you forever, report. They send up the clarion call when something is going awry. Just about the same time as you pray, call and cry for divine intervention, they are reporting in that reinforcements are necessary. Now, there is a tendency on the part of some of you to ignore your angels. You cannot be the best and not accept and welcome and cherish and laugh with all the assistance that is given you, and the fulfillment of those wishes. Some of you always go directly to the Ascended Masters, and this is well and good, but you have been given mighty ones of your own to work with, who think of nothing but your welfare, your unfoldment, your sacred self at every moment throughout eternity. So, do not forget to turn to those who are with you constantly. Yes, Archangel Michael can be anywhere at any time, as can I understand, we are family. 
Think of me as your grandfather, I live down the street. Your guardian angels live in your same room, so call them. Now, this channel asks of me further, what should I do? What is in alignment with one? Which of these opportunities should I choose? That is why your guardian angels are with you, child. Turn to them, and yes, turn to me. But I would suggest to you to choose them all all the opportunities that are being offered to you. Many of you have heard from us lately and I have been saying to you accept all invitations, accept all opportunities, accept it all. You are declaring yourself as unlimited potential, and CO creators of Nova Earth and your own sweet Nova being. Well, what that means is to be able to accept all opportunities and proceed bravely. You are able to multitask far beyond what you have imagined. They are all interwoven. When you are in alignment with our love, it is a tapestry we are presenting to you. It is a meal. You do not simply go out for dinner and have an appetizer. Enjoy the whole meal, yes, even including dessert. I speak to your hearts very personally this day because you are entering a new phase, the phase of your wholeness. The integration is almost completed. You have wound back your clocks to what you would think of as ground zero. Continue on and simply know you are free. I invite you, as you lie in bed in the wee hours, to turn to me and say, God, how am I doing? I will answer you. I will speak to your heart, for you are my precious ones. Now, in choosing your opportunities, know that if it does not sing in your heart, if it does not bring an instant smile to your lips, do not think you have to talk yourself into it. It is just ego trying to distract you. And when in doubt, turn to your angels, for they are our gift, my gift to you. Farewell.